Right. How did you get on this week? Uh, good. Good. Do you remember what we talked about last week? What did we talk about? Um, the minim and the semi breeze and the crotchet and the quaver. Very good. And which one? How long was each one? The quaver was half the beat. Yeah. Um, the semi breeze was four. Yeah. The minim was two. Mm -hmm. And the crotchet was one. Good. Okay. So this week, we're looking at bar lines and time signatures. Okay. A time signature tells you um, how long each beat would last for and how many beats you have in a bar. A bar basically splits the music up um, and it kind of helps you to be able to read the music easier and get the beat easier. Um, and you have each, there's two numbers in a time signature. You have a top one and a bottom one. The top one tells you how many beats are in a bar, and the bottom one tells you how long each beat is or what beat it is. So if it was, let's say, 2-2, two, two, it would mean there were two minims in a bar. If it's 4-4, four, four, it would mean there's four crotchets in a bar. So if it was, say, 2-4, what do you think that might mean? Very good. So it's very simple basically. Um, what we're going to do to start with is we're going to go, um, we're going to do just kind of look into the um, time signatures a little bit. Well, there's three basic ones that you'll find in grade one theory. Um, they are two, four, three, four, and four, four. Um, you do have some other ones, but that will. Um, <coughs> So um, that will be quite simple to go through. Um, then we will just look at where each thing is in um, a piece of music, um, where you might see a bar line, what kind of bar lines you might see, and what kind of bar lines indicate what. So let's have a look, let me see if I can find a piece of music in here. Right, so I have this piece of music. Now the time signature is at the beginning of the piece of music. You'll see there. So the first thing you would usually do is look at the beginning of a piece of music to work out what the time signature is. Then you can see here that each piece of music has one, two, three, four notes, and then has a line to signal the end of the bar. Mm -hmm. Now, at the end of a piece of music, there are two lines. And this shows you that it's the end of the piece of music. So if it didn't have two lines, say it was the end of a page and it didn't have two lines, that would be because it carried on on the next page. If you see two lines, that means it's the end of the piece of music, and there you go. Um, so we, I would call them double bar lines. Yeah. Um, that is kind of just the simplest term for it, I think. Um, and then of course you've got time signature, bar line, and so on. Right, so what we're gonna do to start with is I want you to write down in your own words what a bar line is. Now that I've explained it,
presented. Right, so a time signature, as we've said, as we've just said, tells you how many beats are in a bar and how long each beat is. So what kind of beat it is, basically. Um, what we're going to do is we'll talk about, so we've got 2, 4, 3, 4 and 4, 4. So 2, 4 would be, two, four, two beats. very good, 3, 4, three, four two beats in the bar, and 4, 4, four four two beats in the bar. Very good. Now, very simple to explain to be honest, um, I want you to write what a time signature is in your own words. Time signature is how many beats in a bar. What else does a time signature tell you? How many crotchet beats in a bar? Yeah. What about what? What is the bottom number telling you? The bottom number tells you. It also tells you what kind of beats. Oh. Okay. So it could easily say two, just two, and you could think, okay, that's two beats in a bar. You need to know what kind of beats they are so to start with. Would the four tell you the crop that is a crotchet beat? Uh, or, yeah. Okay. So you could say a time signature is how many beats in a bar and also tells you what kind of beat. Right, <clears throat> what we're going to do now is I want you to write top number and then a few lines down, leave a few lines and then bottom number, okay? Right, so I want you now to write next to top num number what the top number tells you. Okay. Very good. Now I want you to write next to bottom number what the bottom number of the time signature tells you. Very good. So what have you written? Um, so the top number, how many beats in a bar. Very good. And the bottom number is what kind of beats. Very good. Right. Now, I want you to now write 2, 4, then on the line underneath 3, 4, then on the line underneath 4, 4. As you can see, where it says 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, it's not the next to each other. So you have one number just above it and one number right below. And that's how you get your top number and bottom number. It's a bit like a fraction, which yeah. you have in maths. Just without the line. Yeah. Leave a space actually yeah. between each one, because they do take up the whole line. Very good. Right, I now want you next to each one to write what the time signature is.
good. Right, so what did you put for two for? Two crotchet beats in a bar. What did you put for three for? Three crotchet beats in a bar. And what did you put for four for? Four crotchet beats in a bar. Very good. Right. Now what I want you to do is I'm going to give you a sheet. Take your time. You've got ten minutes. Okay. It's going to ask you a few questions. I want you to just answer them as best as you can. And then when it gets to this point, which says exercise five, I want you to stop. Okay. And we'll go over the next bit together. Okay. It's just asking you a few questions on the times. Very good. Right. So it said, uh, what are these lines called and what are they pointing to? They're pointing to the bar lines. Very good. And then what is this pair of lines called? A double bar line. Very good. So it says 2, 4, 3, 4 or 4, 4. What are these numbers called? Time signatures. Very good. I should be ticking this off as we go. Then the next question said, in directions such as 2, 4, 3, 4 and 4, 4, what does the top number tell you? It tells you how many beats are in a bar. Very good. And what does the bottom number tell you? What kind of beats? Very good. So what is the full meaning of 2, 4? Two, 2 crotchet beats in a bar. Very good. And what is the full meaning of 3, 4? 3 crotchet beats in a bar. Write the sign that can be used instead of 4, 4. Now we didn't actually do that, so this is something you didn't. You, yeah, it definitely means four beats in a bar. Um, basically, we have something in a time signature. Four four is just it's very simple to understand. So instead of sometimes instead of using four four, we use something that looks a little bit like a C. So it would be drawn like this. Starting uh, and going around like that. Okay. So literally it's just a C with two dots and that means, if you see that, that means 4-4. Four, four. Okay? Oh, yeah. so it's very, very simple. So the answer to that one would be a C. Very good. Right. So in this next part, this next exercise says add one note in each place marked star to complete the bar. So basically it's giving you some beats in a bar, but they're incomplete. You can see the time signature, so you can see what the what 
how many beats are supposed to be in that bar. So the, the ones that are missing are starred and you basically need to add the notes to complete the bar to make it that time signature, okay? okay. So there's four lots of that, take your time and if you need help, just ask. Okay. So you've got two four to yeah. start with and you've got one crotchet in that bar. So then what would you need? Another crotchet. Very good. And then you've in the same question, so it's still two four. What have you got so far? You've got a crotchet and a quaver. And how many of your two four does that make? Ooh, one and a half. So very you good. Need another half. You need another quaver. Yeah. Very good. Did I draw something? Yes, you did. It's <coughs> three four. So three, four, what would you need to complete that bar? A crotchet. Very good. So you've got two four, you've put a crotchet to make in with another crotchet to make your two four, very good. And you've put a quaver in there, which makes it two four again. Well done. Three four, three four is a little bit more complex because it's an odd number. You kind of think of even numbers, but it does it odd. And you've done that one right. And that one, very good, well done. Right, let's have a look. Four four. Should we add a minim? You added a minim to make four four. Very good. You had a minim, a crotchet and a quaver. You put in half a quaver, very good. And then you had two crotchets, you put in a minim, very good. And you had a blank one which you put a semi brief, very good. I did wonder whether you kind of work out what was going on there. Yeah, it kind of threw you off a little bit, didn't it? And then I remembered the four beats. Yeah, so So you have four four. You've got two crotchets and you've added a minim. You've got a minim, a crotchet and a quaver and you've added a quaver. Very good. The only thing is about that quaver, what should you have done differently? Oh, I didn't colour it in. You didn't colour it in, which makes, although because it's got the tail, you can still kind of work yeah. out what it is. You do still need to colour it in just there like that, okay? okay. Um, otherwise, very good. This one, you've got two crotchets, a quaver, a quaver to make three, and you've added a crotchet, very good. And you've got crotchet, two, a minim, and you've put in a crotchet, very good. Right, the last thing it says, add the time signature at the beginning of each line. So you've got three um, exercises here. You've got an example. So it's giving you some notation it's already got the bar lines and all of the notes in it this time, but this time it doesn't have the time signature at the beginning. So what you need to do is work out what the time signature is. Luckily for you, it's all going to have four at the bottom. Yeah. It's not going to have any twos or any other numbers that you might possibly find at the bottom. 
it's just going to be four. So you just need to work out what the top number will be. So there you go. So, what made you think this one was full for? Well, that's two minims, which are two beats each. So, and together it's full. Very good. What about this one? Um, you had a crotchet. You had two crotchets and two quavers, and then add them all together equals three. Very good. And the last one? Um, same thing. We went to like crotchet and a minim and add them together and it equals three. Very good. You did that very well. That is the end of today's lesson. Well done. You picked that up very well. Um, just keep going over that again this week. Um, and next week, we're going to be looking at the notes on the stage. That does sound a little bit complex, yeah. but don't worry. We'll go through it bit by bit, and we'll get some little ways for you to remember how to do them, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Grace. That's all right.